To get the most out of Ag360, we need you to estimate how much herbage mass you have in your paddocks, and we measure that in kilograms of dry matter per hectare. You might be asking, well, why is that important? Well, Ag360 does your feed budget for you. So it incorporates climate forecasts with models that then estimates feed on your property for the next six months. And we all know why that's important. How many stock are you gonna run? What targets have you got for your livestock performance? And what targets have you got from your pastures? It all starts with measuring herbage mass on your paddocks. I've got a pasture here, so we're in the high rainfall zone of New South Wales, and I've got a nice mix of summer active and winter active pastures in front of me that have responded after the rain. And I want to measure the, the height of this pasture in centimetres. I'm not interested in going to the very tops of the highest possible leaf. What I want to do is what would be an average height of a pasture. So there's my ruler, that's the prop. Essentially I'm putting that in and I'm working out what is the average height of that pasture in front of me. And so in this instance here, I've got 16 centimetres of pasture. You can see we're not stretching the leaf up, we're not pushing the pasture down. We're just using it as it is and saying the average height of the pasture in that spot is a certain number of centimetres. The next step I need to go is how do I convert that to kilograms of dry matter per hectare? There's some density tables that can be found on the Ag360 website. They vary depending on what pasture type and what location you're in. But there's also other ways of estimating pasture the Lifetime Wool Project has a library of pasture photos that you might find useful. New South Wales Department of Primary Industries also have their Drought and Supplementary Feeding app, which also goes through estimating pastures. And in Queensland, they have a Stock Take Plus app. So there's a range of ways to estimate pasture. If your pastures are dry or if you're dealing with stubbles, you might rely on an old rule of thumb which was for every handful of dry material in a square foot, so 0.1 square metre, that's one tonne of dry matter per hectare. But it's really important, whatever you do, whatever method that you use, Ag360 needs your estimate of herbage mass in kilograms of dry matter per hectare. But in a typical pasture like this, we work on 300 kilos of dry matter per hectare for every centimetre. So if we remember back 16 centimetres, 16 times 300, that's 4,800 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. We want this to be really quick because we know people won't do it unless it's simple, quick and accurate. So if you're going into muster stock, you're mentally noting, what's the height as I'm driving through the paddock? What's the density? And when I get to the end of the paddock, that's the key thing. Let's write it down so you can later on enter it into your Ag360 software. Now, when you're going into a paddock, you need to work out what the average is across the paddock and it will vary. So again, you might be on a motorbike or on a horse or in a truck, and it might be in very different parts of the paddock, separated by hundreds of metres or kilometres. And what we're asking is just to record what that is so you can work out the average by the time you leave the paddock. So if we're in this part of the paddock over here, I'd say there's seven centimetres. If I was in this part of the paddock, over here, I want to measure the height of the grass. And the height of the grass here might be one centimetre. And if I was in this part of the paddock over here, I'm then down to four centimetres. So in that example, I've got an average of four centimetres. The seven, the four, and the one is 12 centimetres. Three different locations in the paddock, 12 divided by three, I've got an average height of four centimetres. So I've done height, so let's get on to the density because it's the same variation across the paddock. When we're in this part of the paddock, I can't see the ground through pasture. So I'm happy to call that 300 kilos. If I'm in this part of the paddock, I can hardly see plants and I might pull that down to 100 kilos per centimetre. And if I was in this part of the paddock, I would be at 200 kilos per centimetre. So what's the paddock average? Well, I've got a 300, a 200, that's 500, and a 100, 600, three locations. The average is 200. So we've worked out our average height at four centimetres, 
and we've worked out our average density at 200 kilos per centimetre. So four times 200 is 800 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Here we are in a pasture that's typical of a high rainfall area, low soil fertility and hasn't been improved. There's a range of species that are here, but this video is about how do we deal with the variation in height. This paddock has two types of pasture in it really. It's got the tussocks and it's got the short pasture. Here we are on the short pasture and I've got five centimetres. I can take a number of measurements through here, but in this example, it's all much the same, the short area in here, it's five centimetres. Now I want to go to the tussock as well. Some of you are going to be thinking, well, I don't want to include that in my estimate of herbage mass, and that's fine. But for those that are happy to include that, I'm measuring from the top of the tussock, not the bottom. Same procedure, I'm coming down and saying, there's 17 centimetres. Now, as I come through the paddock, I've really got to make a decision in terms of the percentage short and the percentage long. So there's a few numbers here. We said that the short is five centimetres at 70% of the paddock. So that's three and a half centimetres. And we said the long was 17 centimetres at 30% of the paddock. So that's another five. So we've got about eight centimetres if I want to include the tussock here. Now the other bit of information remember we need is the density. Can I see the ground through the pasture? And I can here. So I've gone to my lookup table on Ag360 and I've chosen a value of 250 kilos per centimetre. So if we've got eight centimetres by 250 kilos, we've got a total of 2,000 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Now for those who decided not to include the tussock, you'd be reducing the grazable area by 30%. We've got five centimetres. Again at 250, we've got a total of 1250 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Well, we're just back from the paddock. We've got our estimates of herbage mass. And now the really key thing is to do something with that data. So come back to your Ag360 account or go onto the Ag360 app. Enter in the herbage mass for that paddock. And remember our herbage mass is kilograms of dry matter per hectare. The payoff you're going to get is without any effort. Ag360 goes and takes a climate forecast. They're updated multiple times a day. They're on a five kilometre scale six months advanced for the whole of the country. It runs a model over that to predict herbage mass for the coming six months. And more than that, it does a feed budget, meaning it deducts what it thinks the animals are eating. It adds on the pasture growth. You can't get that anywhere else. And your part of that is to do the estimates of herbage mass occasionally, maybe every one to two months, to make sure those models are accurately representing what you're seeing on the farm.